Tungsten Tales here at Lakeside. About to have a chat with Paul Gillings from the Darts Performance Centre. First of all, Paul, if you can tell us a little bit about what you do there. Uh, well, Darts Performance Centre, we, uh, we've got a website, uh, like a self-improvement website for players who can pay a subscription. There's lots of advice on there, articles written by psychologists, nutritionists, etc. So that's what started the Darts Performance Centre off. And then following on from that, the other service we provide for dart players is uh, an analysis service of their throw. So what was the aim initially when you set up the Darts Performance Centre? Was it more for local players that you knew or to get a wider audience? Yeah, no, it was, it was for a wider audience. I was doing a master's degree in the performance analysis of sport and every single sport from bowling to Olympic sports had analysts, had psychologists, had all the uh, backup support that they needed from amateur right the way through to professionals. And the only sport that I noticed that hadn't got that was darts. So I saw that as an opportunity, one for myself as a shortcut to, uh, you know, a shortcut in a sport that wasn't being covered, but also to, uh, as a, you know, I love darts. It was a brilliant opportunity for me to be involved in the industry and try and help out grassroots players and hopefully through to professionals. So you talk about analysis of a dart player. Can you tell us exactly how you do analyse each player? Yep. What we do, we uh, video the player. We've got a a super slow-mo camera. So we'll film the player from the the side and from the front. Uh, We then sit down. We've got some software on our laptop. We sit down with with the player. We can put lines on the top of the head, down the side. Um, And we play back the video in super slow-mo and try and pick up on where things are going awry. And then obviously we talk that through with the players, go back up on the hockey, demonstrate to them exactly what we're talking about, get them to do it. And then we keep working with them so they've got some practice games or some ideas that they can go away with. And you know, once they get back home or wherever they're going, they've got something that they can get stuck into when it comes to, to practice. Now, obviously you've dealt with a lot of players in your time. Um, Can you give us any specific examples about players you've helped and how you've helped them with their game? Yeah, yeah, we have. We've we've seen hundreds and hundreds of players now and the feedback we've had is is fantastic. You know, we've seen right through from grassroots players, pub players, to we went down to Red Dragon and saw Mark Webster and a couple of other guys that that are Red Dragon players. Generally, our our player is a pub player, maybe wants to play Super League, Super League who wants to play County. Um, a great example is a guy called Diego Portela, a Brazilian. Um, he came down. We, we've done some sponsorship with him now. Um, but we've had some really good sessions. It, it, he's come down regularly. And first time he came down, we noticed he did had a real quirky, uh, how he turned his hand while he was throwing. He went away and he practiced and he practiced and he practiced, came back and it was gone. It was now he has a perfectly smooth release and his game also quite obviously to me went on an upward trajectory. So he was over the moon. He's been playing the best darts of his life, but he's still come back again. He wants more. We found another little thing. And again, he went away and he practiced that and he practiced that and that was smoothed out. So, you know, he's going, he's going to Q school. Um, He's going on the BDO tour next year. And, you know, a year ago, Oh, I think you actually know him. So I know a year ago he was a average Super League player who has made big steps. I'm not, you know, he throws the darts. I'm not. I'm not claiming that it's all down to us. But if you ask Diego, he will say that the advice he got was a, you know, big boost to his self improvement. As you say, I do know him, and uh, I have seen a marked improvement in his game. That said, um, would you be happy to give me a quick assessment? Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. Let's do it. Right, let's go. Right, so Paul, you took the video of me. We've got it here. Mm-hmm. What can you tell me about how you would assess this? Okay, so what we would do exactly what we're doing now. We'd, we'd sit down, put the video on. I put some lines on the video. We look, you know, we look for key areas such as a player bunny hopping up and down, moving forward. And if they do move forward, do they get back to their original position? 
Um, so we just we sit down, we go through the video, we look at all these key points. Um, sometimes it's glaringly obvious. You know, say we get players that are maybe playing at a sort of pub standard, pub league standard. Obviously, when we get players, you know, you play in the PDC. The better the player, the harder the job is for me. So with you, there's a there's a couple of things that, that that I've spotted that perhaps we'll we'll go through later. But you know, maybe with a player of your caliber, yes, there's always something. There's you know always something you can find. But you know, maybe with you, it could we could also work on, you know, maybe talk about the mental side of the game and your your practice regime and what you are actually practicing. So the video analysis is all part of it, and a, you know, a, a fundamental part of, of 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 improving. But as I say, as you go up the ladder. Uh, that one, two, three, four, five percent is, is, is harder to find. Um, then what we would do if what, if we picked out a picked out a particular point, I'd say you know look John, I think why don't we just try this? So for example, when you were thrown from the front, your dart slips down the side of your face. I would you know, we're very very strong on very big on players aiming with the eye. So you know we we say you know if you're aiming a gun. You wouldn't stick it down the side of the head. Mm -hmm. So shooting a gun, throwing a dart, principles are the same. So I'd say to you, well, look, I understand the scenario. You're wearing glasses. We've got a lot of players who are concerned about the flight or the stem hitting their hitting their glasses and obviously disrupting their throw. So I do completely understand that. So maybe then we'd have a look at your equipment. Maybe we put a short stem on, maybe a slimmer fl slimmer flight, and then see if you can then come back to your eye and 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 throw the dart then. So. This is the start of the process, but after that, it's not necessarily how you're throwing it. It can be the, the kit, as I've just explained. It could be a number of other things that we could tweak that will just give you that little extra advantage that you're looking for. Excellent. Right, Paul, we've done our assessment with me, so thank you very much for that. Okay. Um, now, a couple of other things. Also, along with the assessment of action, you also do practice routines to help people as well. Yes, yes, we do on the on the website. There's a eight week practice plan, I think. Eight weeks, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's eight weeks. Um, and also we brought out a book, uh, Darts Personal Practice Plan. It was uh, written in conjunction with a good friend of mine, Aidan Farrelly. Um, we put it together, um, very straightforward. Um, encourages people to get into a regular routine. So there's a certain amount of practice sessions each week. So you can look back on what you've done the previous week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. So you've got some little comparison, which then obviously if you're seeing yourself getting better, it gives you that little bit of motivation to, to keep practicing. Yeah, it's been very successful. I mean, this week, as you know, Casey Gallagher's been at the Lakeside um, and beaten Dieter Hedman. She is a player that we sponsor and she contacted me a few weeks before took the book on she was never like a lot of dart players they really want to practice but they just can't be bothered and and she was the same she would just get bored simple as that she took the book and she was saying this is unbelievable I'm practicing two or three hours a day I'm not even noticing the time a massive transformation in her practice regime and, and it, it paid dividends for her so yeah the, the book's been the book's been brilliant um, also introduces people to our other services like the video analysis that we've done together um, so yeah it's been it's been a, a, a real great thing to do and we have actually got another one that we're working on at the moment it's gonna be a little bit more in-depth um, we wanted to see what dark players thought of the idea of a practice book and it's gone really really well so we've got something a little bit more in-depth coming out probably in the next six weeks something like that and also you mentioned to me about the possibility of changing equipment. Obviously that stretches to darts as well. Is that something you can actually produce or help somebody produce a set of darts that tailors to their particular throw? Yeah, absolutely. We, we started off a few years ago with uh, our, our own performance darts, our own brand of darts, uh, designed by, by a dart player, Anthony Olmsten Toft. Um, brought out this lovely set of darts and then we just developed them from there. We added extra grip, uh, sort of just improve the original model a few times and then we started coming up with our own designs designs again by dart players you know dart players know what they want they know what works for them so we try and if somebody comes to us with a good idea we're happy to 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 to, to produce it and launch it um we also had and we talked about him earlier diego uh, our brazilian player um he wanted his own set of darts so he came down we've got we've got our own dart shop as well where we keep a range of 
everybody's products as well as our own darts um, and we basically just mixed and matched so we, we got about I don't know probably about 15 16 sets out and Diego said oh I like the front of that I like the middle of that I like the back of that I like this grip I like that grip and we just combined it all together so hey we're not copying anyone else's darts it's a mixture of of lots of different darts taking out all the best bits and he came up with his with his perfect design and he's absolutely over the moon with them he's again it's just given him another another few percent and and he's delighted so yeah we can we can uh, we can produce the darts for the players and uh, the ones that you know hopefully we'll we'll push them forward now just finally obviously it wasn't the case with me but uh, have you ever come across a player that you've analyzed who their action and everything was just so perfect you really couldn't do anything about it um there was one guy actually and it, the only thing i'd say is it was very early on in our analysis career if you like i had andy humphrey with me then who was who used to work with us who'd been playing darts for 30 years and um, it was one of the first um gigs we ever went to the eastbourne open ma massive event um and this guy came on and, and he well, he had the most beautiful action you know you talk about Barney and, and the other guys beaten with the smooth action he had a lovely action and we just scratched our heads and in the end we said look you've got us you we're, honestly you've got us but he was delighted he said oh, that's given me so much confidence to think that my throw is is perfect but that was five years ago and since then it's it's never happened again we've always there's always something so I don't know if that was just lack of experience at the beginning or whether he genuinely did have a perfect throw i'll have to dig his video out again and, and have a look i still got it on i still got it on file but yeah that was that was the first and only time well thanks again for talking to us paul from the darts performance center good luck with the future and thanks again for doing the assessment with me yeah, all the best thanks for talking to tungsten tales thank you